Hey everybody, it is Happy Teach. Welcome to another video. All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to grab color the easy way. All right. So typically I have this photo. Valentine's Day is coming up. I love the colors that are in this photo. So I want to grab them. And typically what we do is we get our swatches panel and we'll get the eyedropper tool, which sits right here. It's the little droplet. Or you can just hit I on your keyboard and get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some color. Let's say I wanted this dark red over here in this corner. Then I'll add it to swatches. So I got that dark red. And if I want another color, notice my eyedropper is still full. So I'm going to empty it by just hitting I again on my keyboard or selecting another tool over here. And I'm going to grab some of this red in this area. I like that. Let me go ahead and add that. And then maybe I'll hit I again. And maybe I want to grab like this color that's inside of here, which is just the glass, um, the champagne mixing with the background. But I kind of like that color. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then hit I. And then maybe I want to go ahead and grab this color right here. It's a lighter color. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Hit I. Okay. And I will go on for, you know, as long as, like if I wanted this green, I would grab that green. I would hit the plus. Maybe I want a lighter green. You know, I would go grab that. Oh, that was a brown. Okay, well, you know, I'm going to take that too. And then maybe I want, um, um, if I can find a lighter green. I don't think I'm going to have that type of look. Oh, but I did. Yes, I did. Doubt me, I did. Okay, so anyway, so I got these nice colors that I added that I pulled in with my eyedropper tool because I can be very, very specific. But what if I told you there's an easier way? Like what if I wanted these shapes or stuff like that? So let me show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the black arrow or I can hit B on my keyboard for, um, uh, it should have grabbed the black arrow. Let me see. Sorry. It's the white arrow in here, but I'm going to grab the white arrow, which is the selection tool, which will also be on my keyboard. I'm going to make sure that this is selected and I'm going to go up here to object and in this menu, right? We have, if we go down, we got these different sections, four, two, three, four. In the fourth section, you have extract from image. What? Which means I got the image selected. I can choose either color theme. I can choose shapes. I can choose type if there were type on here. I know. I know. I'm excited too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose color themes. Okay. And what's going to happen is CC Libraries is opening over here. Now, it is a little slow. You guys know how that goes. But in any event, um, CC Libraries is opening, and it's going to extract that color from me, for me, from the image. Now, it went into another window, so hang on. Bring this over here. And then what opens up is this extract from image dialog box. What? How awesome is that, right? So then it says, choose the type of asset you would like to extract from your image. Now I could go through this tour, which is really just going to take us through what everything in a dialog box does. You can refine the assets um, using the editing tools here. You can, it's going to take me to the next box, I think, or not. Okay. Well, anyway, so it'll take you through and show you what everything is. I know the first time I did, it showed me all of this, like the shapes, the type and everything, but I can extract different parts, and if I don't like the areas that it chose, like let's say I like the red, I like that, I like the green, I like the red, so actually I like the palette, but let's say I wanted to change this red, this one right here. So I can actually click on that and move this to another area, or I think I click on it and click another area, my bad, but I can click on that and click another area. So maybe I want to grab it down here, um, which to me is just a little bit too close to that color, but in any event, we can actually modify it, right? So I could go and maybe grab this red. Maybe I wanted something lighter um, or what have you, but you can modify it, which is super awesome. But look, I extracted those colors from this image and I can go even further. Let me go ahead and show all the colors. I don't know if my mouse isn't working. It's such a delay. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, so I can go up here to mood and I can change the mood completely, right? So I can click on the arrow and I can change it to bright. It's going to be a brighter set of colors, which that's kind of cool. I can change it to muted if I wanted to kind of dull them down just a little bit. 
so it's just a bit much for me. I can change it to deep. So I have options, in other words. I don't want to go through them all and bore you with that, but you have options. That is such an awesome thing to have. And then I can click Save to CC Libraries, and it will save it into a library. But before we do that, let's say we like the shapes that are in here. We can click on the Shapes button right in here, and we can grab these shapes. What? That is so awesome, right? And then we can change the level of detail. So if I didn't want it at 58, if I wanted something, like I said, there is a delay with my mouse. I apologize. But anyway, I can change the delay if I want. I'm sorry, the details if I want. Um, and I can invert the color if I want. I do not know what's going on with this mouse. Let me see something real quick. Because you know what? I got a tablet over here, and I bet that's having some issues yeah, I think it was my tablet. All right, but I can change the level of detail. I can give it more or less. Maybe it wasn't the tablet. I don't know. But you have those options. You can invert the color as well. I'm going to click on this invert um, tool. You can um, smooth it out. Like you can say, hey, as you save it, I want all the jagged lines or whatever to be smoothed out. But you have these options, and I think that, that is so awesome. And I wanted to get on here and show you guys that we, you know, the whole thing is to work smarter, not harder. This is something that makes our life so much easier. So all right, that's what I got for you today for this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you like what you learned, please like or com and comment um, to let me know. Um, if you like the channel, subscribe. Um, if not, I don't know because you won't like it. I'll just be sad. But anyway, just kidding. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, Ta-ta for now.